Diane Foster, born Olga Helen LaRusca, October 31, 1928, July 27, 2019, was a Canadian actress of Ukrainian descent. Foster was born in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. She began her career at the age of 13 in a stage adaptation of James Barry's What Every Woman Knows. In London in 1951, she appeared on stage in Agatha Christie's The Hollow and Orson Welles's Othello. At 14 she began a radio career, subsequently moved to Toronto, and became one of Canada's top radio stars, working with Andrew Allen, drama supervisor for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation on productions such as Stage 49. She appeared on Radio Luxembourg in a broadcast of The Lives of Harry Lyme. She married Andrew Allen in 1951. In March 1952, her husband returned to Canada while she stayed in London, England, to honor her five-year contract with a British film company. In 1953, she co-starred alongside Charlton Heston and Elizabeth Scott in the middling bad for each other. In 1954, she was signed by Columbia Pictures and relocated to Hollywood, where her first appearance proper that year was with Mickey Rooney in Drive a Crooked Road. In 1955, Foster appeared on the cover of Picturegoer and co-starred in two films, Glenn Ford's The Violent Men and Burt Lancaster's The Kentuckian. Although her film career continued, it was not on the same upward trajectory as before. In 1957 she co-starred in the biopic Monkey on My Back about boxer Barney Ross, Night Passage with James Stewart and the brothers Rico with Richard Conti. In 1958, she starred with Alan Ladd in The Deep Six, and that same year she appeared alongside Jack Hawkins in Gideon of Scotland Yard before her last really big picture, The Last Hurrah. It featured an all-star cast that included Spencer Tracy, Pat O'Brien, and Basil Rathbone, and was nominated for a BAFTA award. In 1963, she made her last film appearance, in the Dean Martin vehicle Who's Been Sleeping in My Bed? In 1960, Foster was the title guest star in the episode Lawyer in Petticoats on the short-lived NBC Western series Overland Trail starring William Bendix and Doug McClure. Foster also appeared in 1960 in three other NBC Westerns Bonanza, as Joyce Edwards in The Mill, Wagon Train, as Leslie Ivers in Trial for Murder, Part 2, and Riverboat, as Marion Templeton in Path of the Eagle. Also in 1960 she appeared in Have Gun Will Travel Series 4, Episode 20. There was a three-year absence before she next returned to the big screen in King of the Roaring Twenties, the story of Arnold Rothstein. Then later that year Gunsmoke Season 7 Episode 23 Reprisal. Foster continued to appear in television programs, such as the Wild Wild West episode The Night of the Lord of Limbo, CBS's The Lloyd Bridges Show, 1962-1963, and the ABC medical drama Breaking Point, 1963-1964, and in The Fugitive. She guest starred in the ABC drama Going My Way, starring Gene Kelly. She made four guest appearances on Perry Mason between 1962 and 1965 and appeared in the Caesar's Wife episode of The Big Valley in 1966. In 1951, Foster married Andrew Allen, head radio drama supervisor for the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, in London. They soon divorced, as in 1954 she married Joel A. Moorcott, a Hollywood radio and television scriptwriter, in Owensboro, Kentucky. On February 14, 1956, she gave birth to twins, a son, Jason, and a daughter, Jody. That same year she also filed for divorce from Moorcott. She asked for custody and one dollar in token alimony. The couple reconciled, but it proved to be temporary as they separated twice more before finally divorcing in 1959. In 1961 Foster married her third husband, Harold Rowe, a Van Nuys dentist. On November 14, 1963, her son, Dustin Louis Rowe, was born in Los Angeles. Foster died in July 2019 at the age of 90.